Ibigwe community in our Haji Egbema local government area of Imo State is the latest dry toast of oil producing communities. The community is playing host to one of Nigeria's indigenous oil exploration and production company, Walter Smith Refining and Petrochemical Company. I have the privilege, honor and pleasure. This arena is filled with dignitaries in the upstream and downstream sector, including the Minister of Petroleum, Ibe Kachuku, top government functionaries and community leaders. Very remarkable day in the history of Walter Smith. Reviewing how it all started, the chairman and chief executive officer of the company, Abdul Rasak Issa, explains that the latest feat by his company is a major milestone for indigenous participation in the Nigeria downstream sector. Water Space has successfully operated the field with a wholly indigenous technical team, ramping up production from an initial 500 barrels of oil per day to the current level of average of 7,000 barrels of oil per day over a period of 10 years. Speaking afterwards, the minister says aside the proposed construction of the Bigway modular refinery by Walter Smith, construction of 10 other modular refineries are underway and will definitely make Nigeria an oil exporting hub in the world. These are people who believed in what we're trying to build, uh, task themselves, raise the money and are beginning the first process of refinery growth. We've always said that at the end of the day we must refine most of our products here and if we continue with this sort of processes like our applying in the oil, uh, you have a potential to process between 1 and 1.5 million barrels of our production. That's that is significant and that is the next generation of Nigeria. The host traditional ruler is appealing for a speedy completion of the project. I call on other investors, other private investors within the oil and gas, upstream, downstream, manufacturing, and even the marketing uh, sector to come down to this community. High point of the occasion is the groundbreaking of the construction of 5,000 barrels of oil per day in modular refinery, which was performed by the Minister of State for Petroleum.